All right, so to start this video off, I'm going to be reading a quote from Steven Pinker, a distinguished professor and psychologist. He says, and I quote, I do believe that there is such a thing as free will, but by that I do not mean that there is some process that defies the laws of physical cause and effect. As my colleague Joshua Green once put it, it is not the case that every time you make a decision, a miracle occurs. So I don't believe that. I believe that decisions are made by neurological processes in the brain and that respect all the laws of physics. On the other hand, it is true that when I decide what to say next, when I pick an item from a menu for dinner, it's not the same as when the doctor hits my kneecap with a hammer and my knee jerks. It's just a different physiological process. And one of them, we use the word free will to characterize the word deliberative, slower, more complex, by which behavior is selected in the brain. Unquote. For those of you who don't know, I am reformed. I am a Calvinist. That's a pejorative term that is uh, given to individuals who are reformed. So I don't really like to call myself a Calvinist. I like to say I'm a theistic determinist or reformed. The quote I just read, it is a quote that respects neurological processes in the brain and it also respects the fact that we are all in a cause and effect universe. And because we are all in a cause and effect universe, we cannot transcend the universal factors or the factors that are in the universe that directly affect us and that directly affect our decision making our thoughts, our actions, and our words. This becomes a problem when you deny this reality. This becomes a big problem when you deny this fact. Because what happens is that when you deny that we live in a cause and effect universe, you have now stepped out of the realm of reality into the realm of delusion. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I am very much aware that there are Christians, fellow believers, and true Christians, by the way, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I am very much aware that some of you believe in this concept called free will. This concept that basically states that you are free to make your decisions. You're free to make your choices. You're free to utter your words. You're free to think your thoughts. You're free. You're free. But here's the question. Free from what? Free from what? Because we love to throw this word free will around but we never actually define what we mean by free will. Your will is free, okay? Free from what? Think about it for a moment. What is your real what is your will free from? Because I believe in free will even as a reformed Christian. But let me tell you the free will I believe in. I believe that we are able to make decisions we are able to perform actions. We are able to think thoughts. We are able to speak words freely. And that freedom is from force. We are free to do those things from force. That's our free will. If we are forced to do something, we didn't do it freely. Someone made us do it. That's the free will I believe in. But the free will that we often hear thrown around is the free will 
that transcends factors in the universe that are determiners and determinants. And factors in the universe would include your environment, your upbringing, your circumstances, your location, the people around you. Anything you can point to that is in your direct proximity are universe factors that affect you and that have the capacity to determine you to do what you do. The free will that's being proposed is this. You are free from all those factors. That's a free will I don't believe in. There is no way, shape, or form that we can have that kind of free will because we are a part of the universe. And this universe is a universe of cause and effect. We are causes. We are effects in the universe. Something causes us to do things. And when we do things, we are an effect. And our effect causes something else. And that cause causes something else. And that effect causes something else. And that cause causes an effect. And that effect causes a cause. And that effect causes another cause ad infinitum. We are a part of that long chain of cause and effect. Do you know who transcends that chain? Do you know who transcends the universe of cause and effect? God. God is the only being who transcends cause and effect. He is the only being that this universe does not determine to do anything, but God does everything freely. Free from what? Free from determination. He is a law unto, unto himself. He is the determiner of his actions. Nothing else determines the actions of God. If we say that we are free from determiners, if we are free from determination, if we say that we are free and we transcend the cause and effect universe, then we are, in effect, putting ourselves in the place of God. So hence the title of this video, we live in a cause and effect universe. Free will does not exist. And the free will that I'm talking about is the free will that states that we are free from the universal factors that surround us. Thank you all for listening.